Detroit residents are lining up by the thousands to pay water bills, while city officials, as part of the bankruptcy, press to have service to 150,000 homes cut off. That represents more than 300,000 people. Nearly half of all residents in North America's poorest city live below the official poverty line, and most of those coming to pay a bill cannot afford the rising fees. They are sacrificing food, rent, and other essentials to fend off a shutoff. My barber, he was telling me the other day, now he a renter. I guess the owner of his property ain't been paying the water bill, and now he been there three or four days, or more, more about a week or longer now, with no water. Bad egg, he not making a lot of money, he had a heart condition, high blood pressure, and he woke up, no water. He come, I had to, he came around to my home and got two big buckets of water and took it back around the corner in my car to his house. So I'm gonna make payment arrangement of $207 or my service will be shut off. They came around, put in new meters. The water bill was like $45, $50 a month, all right? And it went from, from that to like six, seven hundred dollars. And then December, January, I get a thousand dollar water bill. Say so I had to pay an extra forty-five dollars every month, along with the regular water bill. All right, but they did it to me two or three years. And when you don't pay it, they'll put it on your taxes for your house. No reason to cut people off of water. That's disrespectful. That's the lowest of the lowest when you take somebody's hygiene, you take somebody's uh, water to drink with. Can I get on a budget plan? Well, you have to come up at least a hundred something dollars. I'm like, ma'am, if I gotta come up with a hundred something dollars, how's that a budget plan? Illich family with the Red Wing, uh, Joe Lewis and stuff like that. But they water still on when they pay their bill. And they call it their back payments. No, they just come to the neighborhood, the little people, and cut it off. It's sad, man. And they and they building up their bank account on the backs of, of regular the regular people can't afford it. You know, it was built for the people in the city of Detroit, not for the, and up until here recently, the people of Detroit, it was it was used for that purpose and stuff. Now, you got the big shots taking over, man. The big investors and the big brokers and the guys that, that got the big wallets, they, they, it was all about making money. Yeah, that's it's, what they do, I guess. It's good and then the little fellas got to pay, you know, and that's what we do. doing. Somebody like me, I can't afford to pay this today. I feel it's wrong when Ordinary people are the cause of the problem, and they're the ones that have to suffer for it. It's wrong. That's criminal. That's hygiene criminal.